Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a really simple transition from a very neutral and natural day look into a night look appropriate for dates or clubbing or just going out and it's really simple to do and you don't need too many products so let's get right into the video. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Lorac Pro behind the scenes eye primer. Um, I have already applied my mascara which is a little backwards but I am doing this video after I came from work today and I did my lashes way too pretty and I don't want to take it off so bear with that. Normally guys do your mascara last don't be like me but we're gonna we're gonna try to work around that. So for our day look what we're gonna do is really just focus on making the eye very neutral and adding a very tiny bit of depth into the crease and that's it. So on a flat shading brush, or this is, I guess this isn't a shading brush, this is a flat dome brush from Coastal Scents, I'm taking this matte white powder and this tan color from Inglot and I'm mixing the two together and I'm just going to use that as a light wash of color over the entire lid. And then taking a little bit more of that white, we're just going to highlight the inner corner of the eye. And then take a little bit of that white powder and highlight the brow bone. So now to deepen that crease, we're going to be taking that medium tan color from the same palette and we're going to push that right into the crease. And once you've added that color initially, you're just going to blend it out with a clean brush. And I'm just using a Bedellium Tools crease brush. And you're just going to evenly distribute that all over the crease area. And that's your day look. Really simple, easy. If you wanted to add a little bit more definition, you could by adding a little bit of a darker powder under the lash line, like so, and you'd make it just ever so slightly more dramatic, but still wearable for the daytime. And now we're gonna transition into our night look, and this is really, really easy, guys. Really simple to do. I'm now gonna be taking a darker brown color, this one right here. And this color is handwritten by MAC. We're going to just put that right into the outer portion of the eye, right out here. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Alright, so you should have something that looks like this by now. Now we're just going to start blending that out, and we're just going to start working that up into the crease, slowly building it up. And you just want to slowly start blending that out. Do the same thing on the opposite side. And you've added quite a bit of depth right there, and that was really simple. And now, all you want to do is darken that up a little bit, taking that same just shading brush. I'm using a MAC 242, and I'm going to be taking a deeper color. This is actually from Wet n Wild. It, was, it came in a little duo, and it broke, so I don't know the color name, unfortunately, guys. But it's just a really, really pigmented dark brown um, with a little bit of fleck. And I'm just going to place that right over where we placed that first little bit, like so. There we go. 
And now we want to blend that out. So to do that, I'm just going to be using a different blending brush. This is the um, Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to slowly blend that upwards. And notice how I'm holding my brush. I'm holding it kind of downwards so that I can get a cut crease so that I don't get any of that dark color on the lid. Bring that in towards the inner corner. And then you can just go right back in there, blend that all together, blending it semi towards the middle of the eye just for a more gradient effect, and then blending it outwards. And then bringing it over. So I want it to be a little bit softer, so now I'm going to be taking a banana yellow color, my favorite one from Makeup Geek, this one right here and I'm just going to blend out the edges. So now to intensify this look just a little bit more, we are going to be kind of sculpting out the... we're going to be defining the lower lash line so I'm going to be taking a very precise pencil brush, this is from Bedellium Tools, and I'm going to be taking Handwritten by MAC again, this medium brown shade, and I'm just going to run that under the lower lash line. And I'm only bringing it about halfway under my eye. I'm flicking it outwards just ever so slightly, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And finally, just to make the eyes pop and make them really just dramatic for the nighttime, we're going to be going in with this dark color. This is a very sparkly dark brown from Inglot, and I'm going to be placing that all over the lid with the MAC 242. And I'm just going to go over the entire lid with that color. It's a really pretty bronze color. I'm then going to take a lighter color and place it on the inner corners of the eye, and for that I'm going to be using Jest by MAC. And I'm going to just blend that in with my finger. And to really make this look pop, we're just going to clean up that outer edge and make it a sharp finish. So I'm taking my Clarins Dual Phase Eye Makeup Remover and a cotton swab, a pointed cotton swab, and I'm just going to clean up that outer edge. And that's the finished look, guys. So that is a very, very easy way to transform a day look into a night look. Just really darken it and then add a shimmery shadow on the center of your lid. That's pretty much it. It's a really easy technique that I use all the time, guys, and it's super simple. It doesn't take too many different products, and you can play around with it. You don't have to go as all out as I did. If you wanted to skip the darker shimmery shade and the gesso that I just put on top and just leave it with the matte browns and then the stark white on the lid, that's perfectly fine as well. That's super dramatic too. But this I find just gives a more sultry and romantic look. So this is what I came up with. And to pair it with the lips, we're going to go with a really simple combo. And we're going to do a bold, bright red. I'm going to start off by aligning my lips. This is just a red lip liner that I got from the drugstore. And I'm just aligning the perimeter of my lip, not overdrawing them, and then I'm just going to put a little bit on the center of my lips, not too much, and then the trick to the perfect red lip, guys, is gold. 
<laughs> Any of you guys who watched my kind of makeup class where I did the really fiery red eye look with the gold underneath, you saw that gold underneath the red really brings out the color more. So I'm going to be taking Pure Gold by NYX and going over the entire lip. And as you can see, it's just, ugh, it's just a stunning color. Just like that, it's beautiful. So next, we're going to be taking our regular red lipstick. This is Perfect Red from NYX and going over it. And as you can see, the gold is shining through it, and it's just stunning. So, ah, uh, I love this technique. And to get the truest color, you always want to kind of that thing. What? You you want to rub your lips together. Uh, so strange. And just really work the pigment in. And then you get this really pretty, like, kind of burnt red, orange, gold. It's just so pretty. And we're going to make it glossy by taking our Revlon Red. And I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. Like so. Getting it all on the back of my hand. I'm using about three or four, like, dips in it. And then I'm going to be taking this gold lip gloss by NYX and doing the same thing, but, but putting like two of them in there, like one, eh, eh, three. So they look like that. And then I'm gonna mix the two together with my lip brush, just swirl them together. And it's more red than gold, but there's definitely a little bit of gold in there, and it's, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so pretty. So we'll zoom in just a little bit. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, especially this beautiful gold and red lip. I love it. Oh, if you guys try it, let me know and shoot me pictures on Instagram. And I will catch you guys later for next week's video. I love you all so much. Thank you again for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye.